we are now on the Silk Road, <coughs> and this is one of the caravansary, like the hotel they use on the Silk Road. So the name first, it's called Silk Road, probably because silk was very precious in the past, still today of course, but that time was much more important. Uh, if the road existed today, maybe they would call it as Petrol Road or the Golden Road, but that time Silk was the name of it. And the road is important for the Turks for two main reasons. Firstly, of course, people are trading, staying here, paying taxes. That's a great income for the country. Secondly, cultural effect on people. In the past, there was no plane or fast ships. How would you come all the way from your countries just to see Cappadocia or Turkey? The journey itself will take months. Because of that, the local people didn't have a chance to speak with other country people and learn about their culture. But because of the Silk Road, there were people coming from different countries and they met with them. The road is very long, uh, difficult, because of the, imagine it's from China, passing through here, till Italy, till Venice. Because it's very long, uh, they of course use camels on the way. Camels are stronger animals, they can survive in the desert conditions much more than horses that's why they use camels and one camel can walk maximum about 45 kilometers in about 9-10 hours because of this at each 40-45 kilometer you can find several caravanserai like around here we have 3 or 4 caravanserai and the next ones are 40 kilometers or 45 kilometers to the west or to the east. And tonight the Dervish show will be in another caravansary. You'll see another caravansary. So, uh, they depart early in the morning, they walk till late afternoon. Be before it gets dark, they have to arrive to the next place because it wasn't safe to go at night as it was dark. Some people could try to steal an attack from, attack to them. So because of this, Sultan gave instructions for uh, safety. For example, let's say we are villagers living here and we have a caravansary in our village. We were responsible to protect these people as well. In case of an attack, if we didn't try to protect them, we had to pay the tax two times higher. If we uh, protected them well, then no tax that year. And today, we insure everything, right? Insure cars, mm -hmm. houses, legs. Lips. <laughs> so the first, the first insurance example in the world history we find in this silk on the Silk Road. Whatever the goods the merchants had, everything was insured. It could be stolen or you could lose it. They would give your money back to you. They did that only for one reason: you would continue using the Silk Road because you will feel yourself safe and confident. Uh, but there were high taxes. To use this road because of that there's a claim by the europeans is that uh, columbus was looking for alternative roads <coughs> to avoid the silk road so they wouldn't have to pay high taxes and according to that claim he found america continent is in one of his journeys while he was searching for an alternative road and after he found that i think 1492 right they found new tradeways directly from Africa to Europe, which was much faster with the ships. It's compared to, compared to camels, it's much faster and more economical. And as a result, Silk Road started to lose its importance. And that's one of the reasons, again, for Ottomans to decline, because they had a lot of income from the Silk Road, but suddenly trade roads started to be changed and less income for the country. Uh, and according to caravanserais also are not used anymore to accommodate people coming from the Silk Road because there was nobody. Caravanserais, some of them were converted into an arsenal or a marketplace, which we call as Bedesten, uh, or regular hotels like Han, it became Han. And nowadays, because there are many caravanserais, it's more than 20, 30, by the way, it's not. <laughs> I just saw eight of them, but there are much many more. So, uh, say there are many of these, they can't restore all at the same time. This is definitely not for sale, because this building is from 13th century, 800-year-old building. 
because it's got historical importance, it's not for sale, but it can be given as a rent. The idea is this, you're renting it from the state. You're paying rent to state, and that's an income for the country, for the state actually, uh, but you can rent it up to 49 years, not 50, because according to Turkish law, if you rent something 50 years, you own it. So max 49, then you can make another contract. So the idea is this, state tells you how to restore it. They make a plan, and you have to do it uh, with that idea. If you do it different, they may fine you, or they may take this back from you. You already can see the stones which were replaced, the new ones. You can tell by color difference. <coughs> Original ones are darker because of exposure to sun for 800 years. New ones are like this. Please come back like 100 years later. <laughs> They'll be dark again. Uh, so, you pay rent and you restore. You pay for the restoration too. So what is your income from this? After you complete restoration, you can charge entrance fees because people will visit this. Right. You can convert this into a cafe. You can put tables, nice garden, you can sell some gift shops and here it's going to be a good income. And there is a caravanserai hotel too. Like the Royal and Dervish ceremony tonight you will see will be held in a caravanserai. Maybe you can arrange small concerts here, events, people would like to see it without damaging the building of course. And what do we see inside? This part is stable for summertime. It's open air. For winter time, they have another stable, it's covered. But it doesn't look like a stable at all. Because it's got very high ceiling with arches. Originally there was a dome, but the dome fell off. You will see an opening, but the arches, the ceiling is in perfect condition, except then the missing dome. Why is it so high ceiling? It's just a stable. Camels don't smell good. Secondly, prestige. Today you see higher rise buildings. People, developed countries compete to have the tallest. In the past they also compete, not with high rise buildings, but with the palaces, caravanserais, Roman theaters, or etc. So that's why, and the language is a bit calligraphic. The, the old Turkish alphabet, which we do not use anymore, as you know, it's Latin alphabet we use. And winter time stable, summer time stable. It's the mosque in the center. The stairway is very beautiful here. You can tap from here. You can see the steps are going into the wall. <coughs> this block is going into the wall. And they have a keystone technique arch here, also supporting the stairway. See? Oh, wow. The arch is supporting the stairs, and each stone goes into the wall. And that's the stable. It looks very beautiful here. And the rooms back here, kitchen, food storage. We saw clay pipes over there, mm. that was like a pool. They had a Turkish bath too, but it's outside the building, it's not inside the building. Uh, this is an average size caravanserai. And we have some of caravanserais, two, three times bigger courtyard. But this is not uh, very small, it's just an average size. So, let's check the, maybe the most beautiful part. The stable for winter time. So people will sleep on the right and left side. Camels will be in the center. You can even see the places here where they again tie the camels. There was a dome up there, so it's not there anymore. Even around this, there were some decorations. And this is the most fancy stable I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny that they slept in the same place as their camels. But not to the same level, I mean, people, yeah, but yeah, still in the same room. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Good echo. 